This one here is uh, Underground Gorilla. Definitely seems interesting. I'll definitely, uh, what is this? A, uh, it's a Doomsday's Today Records and Eternal Darkness cre Creations uh, ps uh, project between the two. But so I'll definitely uh, check that one out. Again, I won't. Hello and welcome back uh, to the Nasty Metal production channel here at YouTube and welcome to another Wednesday review and today uh, for now this will be the last of the Doomsday's Today Records review for at least Wednesday and this uh, would be at least until whenever Paul decides to send me another promo package but for now this will be uh, one of the last uh, Doomsday's Today Records uh, reviews for the Wednesday review day but However, while this is a Doomsday Today Records release, it is also in partnership with Eternal Darkness Creations. It is a various com various artists uh, compilation titled Underground Gorilla, which was originally released last year on October 13th here on cassette. Again, it's all different bands here, at least 13 different bands here, uh, ranging around a few various different genres still. It is a compilation, again, in partnership between uh, Doomsday's Today Records and Eternal Darkness, uh, Eternal Darkness Creations. So with that, well, let me kind of uh, just give you the artwork there, because I'm about to head in to the review for Underground Gorilla, the various artist compilation with, uh, again, partnership between Doomsday's Today Records and Eternal Darkness Creations. So... Let's get right into it. All right. So before I really get into any of my thoughts on this compilation cassette, let's do a track a track listing rundown. We got again uh, 13 songs by 13 different bands, and it all clocks in at 59 minutes and 21 seconds. So these 13 songs are Greta from Mannequin Cellar, Dark Desire from uh, Devoured Christ. Ghoulish Companion from Leagues Below, This Ain't No Disneyland from Valently 3, To Our Dead from War Ghoul, Something of Something Part 8 from Breathalyzer, uh, Negative Demonic Frequency from Nihilistic Outlaw Criminal Order, Last of Seven from Dementianen, hope I pronounced that correct, Food of the Gods from Dungeon Beast, Aberrant Urge of the Cemetery, or At the Cemetery from Nameless Tomb, Rockin' the Night Away from Queenie, Serpent's Crown from Withered Icon, and then finally, O oh Lucifer, Fallen One from Of Blood and Mockery. So there's your 13 songs here. So, um, let me definitely open up the cassette here, because of, um, since trying to look up a lot of these different bands here, Sometimes you might find the artists already on like metal archives, but there'll be certain artists here uh, and, I, and I've tried trying to find some of these artists here like for example mannequin seller I can't find much information. However in the tray here for for the cassette It does list uh, the 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 country or the state and that that these bands are from and also where these songs are uh, Taken from which, which release they're taken from so that's why I'm gonna be reading uh, from the uh, the inlay tray here for uh, these artists here. So without further ado, let's definitely begin with the very first uh, band here, which is Greta from Mannequin Cellar. And these guys are actually based out of uh, Indiana. And this track is tra taken straight from Enter the Cellar Anthology CDR, uh, released in 2018, but it was also uh, taken from a split with RIP, which was really released in 2017. So. Um, as far as my th uh, thoughts on this track, here's pretty much what i uh, written down uh, for my thoughts here. It's basically raw, uh, noisy uh, track with some sound clips. To where, uh, uh, very, I wouldn't say industrial, but a time, it really does kind of push towards that. I guess the one artist that, I'm, that seems to come to mind when comparing would probably be Throbbing Gristle. But for, I, I know most of you guys probably don't know who they are, but I know someone who might uh, who might understand that reference if they probably would listen to this track. So again, that, that's the only comparison I can make. But I don't if that is a, a really great comparison. But it's just kind of similar. It's just again for more like real noisy scrap metal uh, sound 
But again, a very again a taken straight from like a cassette rip, but uh, again uh, with with some sound clips. So it's very raw sounding, but it's it's very interesting. It's what begins this compilation. So uh, let's definitely get into the next track, which is Dark Desire from Devoured Christ. Now these guys are based out of Germany, and this track is taken straight from the Dark Bunker session split, split tape with Necro. Uh, Disseminator. I hope I pronounced that correct. Yes, I kind of spoke that. Uh, yeah, Disseminator. Uh, originally released in 2017. So, here's my thoughts for this track. Again, uh, Dark Desire. It's rough sounding black and death metal. Uh, that's pretty much what I've written down here. It, it, it's a fine song, but nothing really I can find that's completely amazing. But it's just, it, it, it's fine. It's got a cool feel to it still, but it, it, it's, it's alright. That's all I'm going to say. I know it's probably not a good thing to use cool and then say, well, it's all right. Because of that actually defeats the purpose of uh, the word cool. So that's all That's all uh, I can say there. So that's that track. Let's finally get on to the third track, which is uh, Ghoulish Companion by Leagues Below. So these guys, uh, Leagues Below, are also based out of um, uh, Illinois, actually. Uh, these guys are based out of Illinois. And this track is taken from the Leagues Below CD from 2016. So, uh, as again, for my thoughts for this track, well, it's just uh, decent enough uh, black metal. That's all I can say. It, it's a fine track, but nothing really that really just, you know, grabs at me. But it, it's just fine for what it is. Again, nothing amazing, but it's fine. So let's definitely move on. Again, I don't want to completely say anything bad about it. I hope I'm uh, I hope I'm not coming off and say like oh oh this song's uh, shit no no it's a fine track just that I, I I can't say anything else more about it it's just fine for what it is all right so let's uh, move on here with the track this ain't no Disneyland from Valently Three and these guys are also based out of Illinois and this track is taken from a split tape with Mannequin Sailor in 2019 so here's my thoughts for this track. Uh, this track is more of the punk variety. Again, this track is also the shortest song in here, because it actually clocks in at 57 seconds. So it's it, it's got more of a punk feel, very hardcore punk-like. Uh, and again, it's just fine, so uh, nothing really there uh, to say. Uh, the next track, uh, which is... Um, to, uh, yeah, To Our Dead from uh, War Ghoul. And these guys are also based out of Illinois. Uh, I actually had to... Uh, uh, Recorrect myself before I really said anything before I said the wrong band. So uh, sorry about that if I was taking a little long there Still uh, again a uh, war cool also again their base out of Illinois and again this track is taken from the discography CD uh, from 2019 uh, which also originally from the um, uh, The waves of wrath demo in 2004 too. So uh, I was also on their debut album or actually their only album They had actually released as well so that's definitely uh, very interesting. But as far as my thoughts on this song from War Ghoul, which is uh, To Our Dead, it's very much a mixture of like black metal with doom elements. Because it's a very doomy kind of feel to it, especially within the vocal department. Because again, while musically there's some of that black metal influence, but again, it just has more like a doom metal vibe to it, which is so interesting. I really hear a lot of uh, all like very black metal influenced doom metal bands or doom metal influenced black metal bands. I very rarely uh, ever hear some of those. If you have any, any uh, uh, if you if I know that they exist, I know it's a genre in itself. Uh, basically, what black and doom doom metal or uh, doom metal inspired black metal. I know there's definitely artists within that kind of genre, which again, it, it's uh, uncharted territory for me. So if you have any um, uh, re re recommend recommendations on some good sounding uh, black and doom metal bands or so, leave them in the comments section below. But that, but yeah, to our dead from War Ghoul again, it's a fine track. Uh, finally, uh, coming up next here, which is coming at number six here, is Something of Something Part 8 from Breathalyzer, which was taken straight from the, the uh, demonic Eyeless Oboe Concerto in the Room Morgue CD from 2018, which I did review. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this track, you better go find my review for the uh, the album from uh, Breathalyzer. So that's where I'm going to pretty much head from there to the next track which is uh, Negative Demonic Frequency from Nihilistic Outlaw Criminal Order, which is this, which this track is taken straight from their uh, Prophet for Armageddon CD 
from 2010. Uh, again, this is another good track. I dig this one. I've got this album itself uh, on CD, which again, thanks to Paul of Doomsday's Today Records, which this is his band. And again, it's a fine track. I really dig it. Very sludgy, almost uh, very grindcore stuff. Again, it's very much sludge metal, but it's very interesting and I dig it. So that definitely ends here the uh, first half of this compilation. So let's get to the second half, which uh, again, with this will be track number eight, which is uh, Last of Seven from Dementi uh, uh, Dementianen. Uh, these guys are based out of New York. Uh, this track is taken from their Seven Suicide CD from 2003. So here's my uh, thoughts on this track here, which is, uh, here we go. Uh, again, more more chaotic black and death metal. That's pretty much what I written down. It's a fine track, but uh, again, uh, nothing uh, completely amazing, but it's fine for what it is. So let's have to move on to uh, Food of the Gods from Dungeon Beast. Now, this one's a very interesting one because uh, Dungeon Beast are based, were originally are based out of Olympia, Washington earlier, but later on they moved to uh, Lansing, Michigan later. So that's where they're kind of listed here as from uh, Michigan, but the original were from Olympia, Washington. And these guys are like more of the, again, uh, this track also I should have to say is taken from their, the full CDR from 2018. But these guys are actually of the more progressive slash epic heavy metal uh, genre. So almost at times even bordering on sort of US power metal. Got very much a early Queensryche feel to it. It's, this is such a cool track. Uh, so again, yeah, Food of the Gods. Again, it's just, again, what I pretty much just said. It's some classic, progressive, epic heavy metal, and it's cool. Apparently, all they've released, though, is uh, some demos, and then uh, all of it got released on a compilation called Volt of Delirium. So it's very interesting. Again, I really dug this one. I really did. Again, this is more of the, one of the few songs that's really just up my alley here. So just a great, uh, solid, uh, heavy metal track from these guys. Again, great vocals too, so it's just very different here. Again, most of the bands are almost the extreme metal v variety, but this one is more classic metal. D just a good track uh, all around. So let's have to get to the next track, which is Aberrant Urge at the Cemetery from Nameless Tomb, which these guys are based out of Germany. And this track is taken straight from the uh, Aurora of the uh, Aberrant and Perverted demo from 2014. So here's my... Uh, thoughts on this track here let me definitely uh move the page over so i can get get to the thoughts here again um just more rough and raw sounding black and death metal that's all i, I can really can say for this track it's fine cool though in some places but yeah it, it's just a it's got an, a, a pretty interesting feel to it i dug it so let's definitely move on to rocking the night away from queenie and these uh, guys are uh, apparently I, I tried to look these guys up on the metal archives but i just couldn't apparently they're not on there but these guys are actually based out of new england and this is actually a witch cross cover uh witch cross also uh, being a, a classic danish heavy metal band in the 1980s and this track also being originally taken uh from the uh the band's debut full-length album called uh, fit for flight i think it was called Again, which was really released through like what Roadrunner Records back in the day. And that album was also recorded in the same studio where Merciful Fate were recording some of their classic albums. Like Melissa and Don't Break the Oath and so on. So that, that's a little cool fact. So yes, I am very familiar with the song. However, the band Quinny, I'm not. However, as far as a cover is concerned, which this track though, this cover is taken from a rehearsal tape uh, from 2010. Uh, with uh, vocals and solos added in 2012. So uh, the the cover uh, as concerned here It's an alright cover. That's all I can say I think that they do a fine job covering it and again, it's more of a rehearsal track So it's not the perfect recording So I think if they had a to studio and was able to really perfectly record this this might I might change my mind on this cover for I think for what they did It's a fine cover for and again for an obscure Metal track, which again, uh, the album from Witch Cross, Fit for Flight, has been reissued through both like High Roller Records and Hell's Head Bangers. So there you go. My knowledge is already showing forth with this track. So that that, that should say something. All right, so let's definitely move on though to the next uh, song, which is Serpent's Crown from Withered Icon, which these guys are also based out of Illinois. Uh, again, this track is also taken from their uh, the apparently self-titled CD of the name, uh, Withered Icon, uh, from 2014. So here's my, uh, 
Oh uh, boy, here's my uh, thoughts on this track. It's again, good, slow, almost doomy death metal. Very interesting. I dug it. It's like while uh, the song, which was it? Um, the uh, Wargle track, uh, To Our uh, Death, or To Our Dead. While that track was more like a mix between black metal and doom metal, this song here from Withered, Cr uh, Withered Icon is de definitely a, a combination between doom metal and death metal. And I know plenty of sort of uh, doomy sounding death metal bands. So again, like Autopsy, I think, comes to, to at least... Uh, uh, mind. However, it's this isn't really close to being autopsy though. It's just it's more more on the doom metal side, but there's some of that death metal influence there. Again, it's not on the autopsy side. It's just very different sounding from there. So it's fine. Finally, let's uh, ends here with uh, O Lucifer Fallen One from Of Blood and Mockery, and again taken from the demo 2019. Which I've done a review on this one as well, so if you want to hear my thoughts on this song, you can go and find my review for the Of Blood and Mockery uh, release, which again should be on the channel here. If not, all I can say is it's a fine song in its own right, so there you go. There is my review. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, we're, we're getting interesting here. Alright, so there you go. Finally, I guess uh, we'll then uh, stop here. Because again, uh, while I'm uh, fucking around with this, because uh, again, this is just a fine, uh, this is very much a fine compilation cassette here for, from these uh, two labels here in partnership. I think it's fine. So as far as my ratings, it's a eight out of ten. Again, it's a solid compilation uh, album for from this, for, from the uh, from these two labels. They definitely chose a very interesting selection of bands, like always. When it comes to these uh, labels, they definitely, especially when it comes to Doomsday's Today Records and Eternal Darkness Creations, they really do choose a lot of really interesting bands and the genres really over the place. Same thing goes along with like Soul Grinder's uh, Zine. The really those labels or those uh, people, they really know how to really pick bands and really how to really kind of just uh, really. Um, really kind of selecting some of the artists and really know how to choose which genre is and so on it's just really interesting so there you go if this, if this kind of uh, compilation is up your alley if this is uh, something you might be interested in checking out again i will be leaving you a link to uh the uh doom days today's uh, records band camp page which this is up on that page for sale which you can, if you want this on a cassette again for physically again it costs about five bucks but if you want to download this, it's a name your price. So really, you got options, way to at least download this or own this or whatever. And of course, uh, the sound, the songs are there to listen to as well. If you're interested in uh, uh, again picking this up. So with that, I hope all of you enjoyed. Thank you, uh, Paul of Doomsday Today Records, for sending this out my way. Uh, this was all great. The whole entire package w was fantastic. Again. Uh, until next time, whenever you send more uh, promo package packages my way, I will review them. So, again, this kind of ends the Doomsdays Today Records uh, uh, reviews for Wednesday. So, again, it will be on a hiatus until Paul decides to send me another promo package. So, until then, I hope you all have enjoyed. This is for Thresh and Sam out, and I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.